I know that you don't want to talk about your your artistic practice, and so we would not ask <laughs> any questions <laughs> about yeah. the, uh, any no, question no, it, about your artistic practice. Okay. It's not I don't want to talk on artistic Let's practice. Okay, go ahead. No, sorry. no, no, no. Tell me. It's not that I don't want to talk about it. It's more that. Uh, you know, it's like being in the party and it's like someone says, what do you do? Yes. You know, <laughs> and then you're like, oh, no, you, can't visit. you know, no, <laughs> then you're like, yeah. you know what? So sometimes I used to say I'm unemployed, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost always unhappy with reviews I get, yeah. <laughs> whether they're very positive or very negative, almost always, you know, so maybe it's a personal problem because they label. Actually, honestly, this is almost an instinct. I'm always trying to escape yeah. being said to be something. talking about my imagination of, of the, the performance of the yeah. concert and the, I think <laughs> you see this is this is this is the art thing this is it's true, this is the art thing I'm normalizing you're, you're I'm, what I'm doing I'm really like mm. yeah but this is the thing okay the art system not the people <laughs> the art system is always absorbing is always absorbing all the other fields and kind of using them uh, I'm very critical of this. You know, that's why I say I'm an artist, musician, and writer. But I guess what I want to do is, you know, like create a condition, you know, like the mm. concert, it's, mm. you know, where people, it's not just that they're engaged or watching or listening. All of this is, all of this is happening, but something else is happening. You know, something is being produced at the moment. I think yeah. this is part of the power of music and the power of a concert which is extra, something, you know, like that is, that you can't just, you know, grasp, grasp yeah. but that is real and is tangible. So for me, the part of the reason why I have consciously not allowed myself not to learn certain things, it means that every time I start a, a new piece, I have to invent a way of doing it. And so from scratch. Mm -hmm. So instead of going in and the, this, the system and language is ready for you and you just fill it, you know, I have to really, it's, it's a lot of work actually. So I have to start from scratch as if I don't know anything. And it's also a way of keeping things dangerous and the possibility always risky. Also was risky and the possibility of really fucking it up is always there. And I think these things are really, they force you to be engaged and serious. I find them useful. It's when I invited you, I didn't, I didn't either even ask what this, you know, uh, music concert would have would be. been. Mm -hmm. But like, let's see. Let's yeah. see, you yeah. know, like, mm -hmm. we, we open the space, we create the condition and then, yes, absolutely. And then we take the risk mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. and, but who knows, so I'm just letting you know ahead of time, it might be a huge disaster, you know? <laughs> <laughs>